Hey guys, hey, uh, how are you guys are doing? Is you guys doing because I'm doing. Uh, today was the day I go and see my Dr. Rollins, which is my bariatric surgeon who has done three, four, well, technically four surgeries on me. Um, he put the band in, took the band out, gave me a paniculectomy, and now I have the distal bypass. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to talk about in this video. Let me know if you can hear me because I'm still trying to figure out, you know, if just talking on my phone is okay, if I'm loud enough, if I'm not loud enough, um, do I need to buy something special? I don't know. But being the key and operative word here, um, so I went and saw him today. Um, I had a fantastic weigh-in. I have not been weighing myself for several reasons. Number one, it depresses the shit out of me when I don't see the numbers I think I should have. Um, I become severely depressed when I think that I'm not doing a good enough job. First and foremost, let's let's just let's just go down the list of what's going on with me. So, um, I had my blood labs drawn uh, two or three weeks ago. Um, they're in, obviously. My vitamin D, which I'm not even being funny this time. Both of those are, are low. So, my vitamin D levels are really low, like worse than they were before. And my vitamin K levels are really low, worse than they were before, as you can probably see by the massive hematoma I happen to have on my arm. Now, granted, I did fall and it did hurt, but um, the vitamin K deficiency, um, your body can't coagulate. So that means that I would be more of a free bleeder, which is probably why my lady time was really heavy. So, now I'm gonna be taking 100,000 UI of vitamin D a week. Um, plus the, the the stuff that I already take. And then I have to add a vitamin K supplement and an A, D, E, and K supplement as well. So that means I'll be taking iron, I'll be taking calcium, I'll be taking vitamin D in two different forms, plus my regular vitamin, and he wants me to go back to the bariatric advantage. Now, here's the thing with the bariatric advantage, uh, not advantage, I'm sorry, bari, uh, bari life. He wants me to go back to that because it is from a DS doctor and he thinks that I will be better off in the long run if I continue to use that, the powdered kind. Um, I don't particularly care for it, but if it will save me from the stuff that I'm dealing with, then yes. So after explaining like how I feel mentally and physically, it is absolutely 100% because my, my vitamin D is low. Um, it causes all kinds of issues with your bones, with your teeth. It can have issues with um, memory. You can have issues with a lot of depression. A lot of depression comes because, and it's not just going outside. So like when people are like, well, you just need to go outside more often. It's not just that. It doesn't matter if I sat outside all day long and became, you know, leathery. Like I'm not going to absorb enough to fix what's going on with me. So having said that, um, we are now on, you know, vitamin watch. So now that I know my vitamins are slipping, even though I'm taking vitamins, I'm obviously not taking the right kind. I'm obviously not, not taking a fucking nap. So that means I'm going to have to switch from taking the Tespo um, to taking those other vitamins and taking that a couple times a week still. Um, just because I think in general, even though it's not enough, I, I still like um, the ease of using the Tespo and, you know, just as a kind of overall. Now, you can have vitamin toxicity, which means that you have too much of vitamins. Now, that is why we are doing a full panel, see where everything is at, and then adjust as we go. Um, we did talk about plastic surgery for my arms. Yes, we did. I have a plastic surgeon's appointment on the 20th. And he's going to talk to that plastic surgeon about this. Um, after seeing him and him looking at my arms and just seeing like how much I'm struggling with them, um, he is willing to, you know, work on them for me. But again, just like my paniculectomy, it isn't going to be straight. It isn't going to be perfect. It isn't going to be beautiful. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be... 
um, super tight and just like, you know, perfect arms. I'm never going to have perfect arms. And for right now, I'm perfectly all right with that. There's a lot of perfect going on there. So I'm okay with it not looking, you know, 150% because anything really is better than that. Um, so that might be happening at the end of December. Um, we will see how that goes. Uh, you know, I would, I would do it if, you know, it's been given to me. If I got the choice, I would take it and go ahead and get that fixed and done with. Now then, so, um, most of you are probably here for my weight loss. Uh, today I might have, uh, I don't know, weighed in at 243 pounds. So I'm past the 250, way past the 250. Um, <laughs> holy shit. And then like, that's without like that's without counting clothes so i just wanted a rough like what is it and that's for, so it would be 240 had he taken off the clothes but i was just like leave them it, they're not that much anyway so that was really exciting for me to see that number I, it makes me feel really good to see that number i am back on instagram and facebook but i will not be posting as much as i did um i'm just kind of taking things day by day doing the best i can with what i have <laughs> Um, but the depression and anxiety and just overall being tired and not want to do anything and not want to see anybody is all pretty much to do with my vitamin D level and just the fact that, you know, um, it's affecting my bipolar and my bipolar is affecting it. Like it's just no bueno. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can with what's available to me. Um, you know, I'm going to continue to take my vitamins. I'm going to take my vitamins more proactively I'm gonna just keep plugging on and doing the best I can because I don't want vitamin K injections if I don't have to but if that's the road I have to go on I will take the injections I just would rather I didn't have to so I would rather I didn't have to excuse you madam so anyway um other than that guys there's not a whole whole lot going on um i got the vacuum bags in i got my big ass thing of click active in um click active is the protein drink that i particularly care for um i bought some to take with me to korea because i drink a protein shake pretty much every single solitary day so there are certain foods and stuff that i know that i won't be able to get over there that i have kind of collected and that way i can send it ahead of me including like yuki's um puppy pads and like her her food because her food is is very important for me to take over there so I'm gonna have to take I'm gonna have to send like a 15 pound bag of it which is it's fine hooey, 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 hooey. but anyway um yeah so I'm I'm just getting everything ready I'm just getting everything you know um together I also bought um the tubs for storage which should be here like tomorrow or the next day um now walmart sells the sterilite tubs with the with the the lid on it they sell those for eight dollars a pop almost nine dollars a pop amazon had a set of them which was eight of the same thing for 46 dollars so i get eight of them for 46 dollars or i get eight of them for 80 dollars which one you gonna pick so I, I got it from Amazon. Now the reviews did say sometimes they come cracked or sometimes like, you know, the lid is cracked. That's what duct tape is for. I don't care. All I'm doing is putting my shit in there and then I'm duct taping it up anyway. So if it's cracked, that's fine. With whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I legitimately just don't care. So the other things that I have bought is another case for my phone. Um, just because this one is so ridiculously bulky, ridiculously heavy, and it, it muffles the sound on my phone. So, there's that. Um, what else I was going to tell you? Then, um, yeah, I bought Yuki her ESA, which is Emotional Support Animal um, Jacket. Her tag that says you know that uh yuki my name not my name but my uh yuki and my phone number and then 
it has um, bipolar 2, panic disorder, and then distal bypass. So if for some reason I became incapacitated and I had her with me, at least, you know, they would see the tag turn it over and they would see, you know, that I have bipolar and that, you know, I have panic disorder in case I passed out from a panic attack. Because I do get to the point to where I will pass out from a panic attack. And, you know, that way they know that I have a distal bypass. So it's just a little extra something for me. I also had to buy a dog carrier because the one that I had here is just too fucking small. So, um, she can't move around in it very well and I'm not going to force her on a 16 some hour flight to sit in that. Not that she's going to be in it much anyway, but just in case she has to be in there for a little while at least, I want her to be, you know, more comfortable. So, yeah. <laughs> um... That's it, guys. Like, I'm just gearing everything up to start um, packing shit and getting everything ready and, you know, trying to get my vitamin levels back up. I'm trying to eat really well. I'm losing good amounts of weight. Um, last time he saw me, I was 254. Now I'm, you know, I'm 11 pounds from that. Oh, shut up. I hate it when because it scares me. Um, over here, petting her. But, yeah, her anxiety medication wore off while I was gone. So now she's kind of, and I gave it to her when I got home. So she should be better in like a little bit. She's licking my hand. But anyway, anyhow, anywho, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Whatever they happen, happen to be in this world. Um... So I've lost 280 pounds. I started off at 523. My first surgery weight was 264. Today I happen to be 243 pounds. And I am pretty damn happy with that. I'm pretty damn happy with that. The shirt that I just got is actually big on me. Um, it's a one, which means it's a 1614 from um, Torrid. And it is, it is, it's getting big on me. So that makes me feel pretty good. My bariatric surgeon said that if I wanted to stop losing weight right now, I could. Um, you know, he asked me where I was happy at, and I said, right now, without skin surgery, I'm pretty damn happy. My face doesn't look gaunt, you know. Um, I still have a, m moderately, I still have a butt. Um, you know, I look good in my clothes. I don't feel that bad. I feel bad because of my vitamins. I don't feel bad because of my distal. Like I can deal with everything else. It's just, I just don't particularly feel all that great. But hopefully after I fix my vitamins, I'll feel a lot better. So anyway, anyhow, anywho. So I love your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below. If this is the first time you've ever seen me, I hope you stick around that you'll subscribe to my channel. You can hit like, you can leave me comments. I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, like I said, I am on Facebook and Instagram, but it will not be to the extent that I have been on, um, where I have to constantly check it. I'm not going to do that again because that's not healthy for me. Um, but I still want to share my journey. I still want to see everybody else's journey and, you know, support people. And I think that's important for me because when I isolate myself as much as I have lately, um, you know, that's not healthy either. That's actually really unhealthy for me. So, I will talk to you guys again very, very, very soon. And, bye.